Okay, um, very happy to be here um, again. Some of you guys have seen some of the slides already. Uh, they were shown on open court. Now we want to uh, provide you with an update. Um, yeah, my name is Robert Zukup. It was mentioned already, and this is Hans Jakob, the main architect in this venture. Access for O is the incarnation of, so to speak, the court at Deutsche Telekom. We have been running this program since May 2016, and we are now uh, on the brink to make it real, to make it happen. Um, yeah, this, I, I love this, uh, this picture with the engine. Yeah? Most of you have seen it already. But I've highlighted the focus on the left-hand side, what it is about. Yeah? I mean, we, can do, we have seen many cases. We have seen now from Turk Telecom that they look at the, the mobile um, solution. We look at FTTH and FTTB because there is this opportunity now in Germany where we want to go for a larger rollout. And it would be just great if it is all built on this technology. Mobile backhaul is another use case that we look at. So it's mainly about aggregation, it's routing, a rather, from a technical perspective, a rather simple use case. And this is all supposed to be combined on the central office locations that we have. Having this, yes, say, feature poor machine, but very powerful, very scalable, very lean to operate, and very capex low on the central office location. This is depicted by the engine. We track everything, and we are very proud on that um, by a um, I'd rather go that way by a cost model, because this is what what drives us, and this is our life insurance within the company. Yeah? As long as we can justify to our controllers, we save money with that. We become more agile. We uh, can leverage automation. This is why we pursue this as Deutsche Telekom. So where are we? New slide. So what's inside the machine? Um, this is, in fact, on the right-hand side with the purple colors. I think it comes across as purple. This is our master POD as we have set it up by December last year. So I think most of you who have actually attended uh, the sessions can recognize the bits and pieces here. Yeah? We, we see the lead spine fabric uh, where we work together uh, with a little startup to uh, bring it up. We have the service edge integrated in that. We uh, take care for residential, and soon we will also take care for wholesale customers. If you want to jump in and search at any time, yeah, because I think this is your baby, uh, most of it. So the service edge is run on merchant silicon. So we work together with chipset vendors, and the PPPoE session, which are we obliged in Germany to have, the PPPoE sessions are really terminated on the chip. This gives a wonderful scalability, and whatever you do on virtual machines with x86, sorry for the Intel guys, this is not getting in that performance area, in that ballpark. So then we have a couple of servers, a couple, in fact, three, yeah, not more. Um, you can see them on, the, uh, on this slide um, to run a Kubernetes ring, and then we have OLTs, and I think yeah, OLT line cut, so to speak, yeah? It's a, it's a line cut. These are the edge core ones. And uh, yeah. Quick comment on the WDM, and then I'm basically done with uh, the technical introduction where we are. This is where we have to, uh, to backhaul OLTs that are a little further out. So they get backhauled with the WDM. I don't think from a technical point of view, it is completely new, it's completely different. We place emphasis on Volta SDT. This is the thing at ONF where we want to, well, where we bring already resources to the table and what we want to see fly as soon as possible. And I share the vision with Turk Telecom Q3. That is, that is cool, yeah? Let's aim for Volta 2.0. I think I haven't mentioned the split service edge, but I yeah, think Yeah, I can do this, uh, thanks. Uh, well, um, first of all, when Robert was talking about controllers, he was not meaning SDN controllers, right? So, so this is um, what I'm saying with this is uh, we have a discipline in our company that, that is called design to cost. So everything we're doing here is design to cost. So we have the cost model. And um, what I want to highlight here is that CORD and, and what the ONF has done also before we actively joined into CORD is a huge success already because nobody is questioning this architecture anymore. It is um, 
spine leaf fabric, uh, flexible routing of flows, x86, merchant silicon. Nobody's questioned that. Even if I, if I have uh, what, whatever um, company I'm talking to, nobody's questioning the main principle. And this, this is a huge achievement of the ONF. Now, um, moving a bit ahead, where to go with the ONF, we think there, there, are, there are two things we need to achieve. Um, number one is create tangible results so um, that we can fulfill our ambitious plans in rolling out the technology, uh, moving beyond field trials and uh, having carrier grade code. I like the slides also from Tom. It's all about the community. So that's the one thing. And the other thing is the more forward looking stuff is like the, the 5G, the mobile, and I will not talk about that. I, will, I just want to highlight one, one of the core principles that we are um, building in our project, and this is this slide that we have also shown like six months ago um, in, in The Hague. Um, the thing is, um, we're in, in the user plane, especially when you talk about um, uh, mobile edge, um, as we've seen or, or will see also at the, at the demonstration here with the P4 enabled uh, gateway, we, we have um, torn apart uh, a BRAS, we call it service edge, so we took the routing out because that's done in the fabric, but the subscriber termination, we have split that into control and user plane split. That is, I think, a commonly agreed principle. But when you start splitting the control plane from the forwarding plane, you need to do something in between. You, know, you have the hardware drivers and you need to mediate, and um, it's a, ideally, and especially in spine leaf fabric, that's a shared resource. So you might have multiple tenants. So you have multiple control plane apps, and then you need to hit a sort of a mediation layer. And then uh, from there, you need to possibly uh, resolve conflicts if multiple tenants are accessing the same resource. And then you need to have device drivers, and then the forwarding plane, what we call D. So we, we, only have, we not only have D2, we have up to four, right? D4, D1. So um, you have, um, this, this is a very schematic uh, view graph here. So, so you have like four different types of forwarding um, technologies that can be NPUs, ASICs, FPGAs, x86, doesn't matter. The trick is that we need the drivers to, um, to program them, and then we need an abstraction layer, a mediation layer that interfaces with the control plane. So the trick here is, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm probably preach, preaching to the choir, but I don't want to change the northbound stuff here. So if, if I bring in um, the new chipset from, from a great company that, that is maybe doing OLTs or, or, or bare metal switches, and they are 10 times faster at half the price, um, that's already great, but if I have to change my IT northbound, I'm screwed, and, and this will take me ages. Um, so that needs to be completely decoupled. So what we think is, um, what, what we would like to see on the market, and talk to many vendors, and some are doing this already, is that we want to have the, the devices, the specific hardware plus the drivers and vendors can still differentiate on functionality here. And we've uh, done the exercise, for instance, in, in programming the PPP termination on different types of chipsets, even using the same programming language, it's still target dependent. So we need the drivers, we need an abstraction above the, the plain SDK or whatever you have there, like P4 or the new Broadcom SDK. And, um, but on the mediation layer, we want to have an open source or open community-based framework here because if, if I choose one of the vendors to do this, I will probably run into issues when integrating another vendor's uh, components. So, so this is a strong call on the one hand for the community to work on this and also from us a commitment to join this and to drive this. And um, you all know one incarnation of this principle that is Volta, and this is, this is our internal slide on Volta. This is, the, this is just one example, this is the Edge Core OLT, and Volta is there, it, it provides a framework, and uh, we have the drivers. There can be companies that uh, create these devices that bring proprietary drivers, but there's also open drivers. We're open to both of them, but this is a good example, and we want to extend this also to our service edge, I mean BNG, for instance, and the mobile edge. And this is, this is more the, the short-term thing, to get the whole thing running. Yeah. Hola, did I forget anything? Um, last comment, perhaps. Um, for all the vendors, uh, we will run RFIs and RFQs very soon, so during the next couple of weeks. So watch out for that. So this is our commitment. Well, I mean, two, uh, two years, I think, is 104 weeks, isn't it? Yeah, no, <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>